We received reports last week uh, that a number of cattle producers were running into issues, uh, in particular with Johnson grass, which we've got some here behind us and uh, losing cattle uh, from eating Johnson grass. We've got a couple of issues we worry about with Johnson grass and really we wanna make sure that we get really anything in that sedan family. So grazing sedan puts us in, uh, in that category too. You wanna know first and foremost, what's in your pasture, what's in your hay, what are your cattle, cattle eating. The biggest issue we're running into right now is that uh, these cattle that, that we had deaths on uh, were believed to, to be prussic acid, which is also known as cyanide. When, when we have certain members of the Sudan family and they become stressed, uh, particularly in drought conditions, uh, they've got, they, they produce a compound that when that plant is damaged then, turns itself into cyanide. It's important to recognize that for when we're dealing with cattle deaths, we can have a number of different toxins that can, can give us problems. Uh, with Johnson grass, uh, we can see nitrates as well. And so producers really need to be aware that uh, we need to do some testing on both our pastures, know what's there, and then also uh, any time we're dealing with hay, we wanna make sure we're testing those hays as well. Producers need to get in connection with their local county extension educator as well as their veterinarian. And uh, OSU has laboratories that can do quantitative testing where we can know, uh, you know how much exactly is in that, in that plant. But there's also a field test that can be done on site but it's a little tricky, so we wanna make sure that it is being performed correctly. Otherwise, it may give us a false sense of security. You know, Johnson grass is really everywhere. Uh, it's in pastures, it's along the side of the road, it's in the bar ditches. And so, and it doesn't really take all that much uh, to, to impact, a, impact a cow once she eats that. It's usually gonna be a sudden death. We will note with, with prussic acid, with cyanide, uh, related to these kind of toxins. Uh, when we draw blood on those animals, it is bright cherry red because that's what the cyanide is doing is keeping the oxygen moving into the cells and the tissues. In particular, the treatments for both of these type of toxins need to be administered quickly. They need to be administered in, into the bloodstream, which many may not feel comfortable with. Additionally, the antidotes to both of these toxins it have become harder and harder to get our hands on, and so we wanna be prepared in advance. It's important to note too, uh, that this is a condition that can, can impact uh, all ruminants, so sheep and goats, we, we can see problems with potentially too. Uh, horses, for some reason, seem to be more tolerant of, uh, of grazing Johnson grass than others. You know, trying to get rid of Johnson grass is, is harder than uh, one would like. And so we wanna manage those pastures and talk to our local county uh, extension educators about options of managing our pastures really at all times from all kinds of toxic plants. For more information on this, we wanna direct you to this our SUNUP website that will have our OSU extension fact sheet available that'll have more details in dealing with uh, Johnson grass and other members of the Sudan family. Thank you.